Well, Lee, congratulations. Uh, first week back on the road for 2021. Yeah. We've been talking a fair bit about your journey on uh, on the first serve. I think anyone that knows their tennis knows where you've been, what you're trying to come back to. But, gee, it's the dream start to come through qualies. Uh, you've won eight matches for the week and you lift the title. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been pretty crazy. Um, I, yeah, I got here two weeks ago. Spent the first week training, um, and then I was actually I was in pre-qualifying to get into qualifying um, because I didn't have any points or or, or anything. Um, so yeah, uh, I was in pre-qualifying, um, yeah, and then I got through qualifying and um, and main draw, and yeah, just really stoked. Honestly, I was just I was just keen to kind of just get settled in these first couple of weeks, um, and then just kind of get used to the conditions and everything. And I definitely went a lot further than I expected. So um, yeah, really happy with that. So yeah. I mean, they say in sport, winning, winning becomes a habit. I mean, you've made winning a habit the last two years, coming back to play UTRs where you've dominated. You get a wild card into the Australian Open. You play the tournament before the Australian Open. But we think back to that match against Feliciano Lopez. Uh, you took a set, took him right to the wire in, you know, four sets of great tennis, which no doubt would have given you, I imagine, a fair bit of belief to take on a guy who, you know, had got to number 12 in the world, even though he's at sort of the, you know, the twilight phase of his uh, career. Can I ask you what happened sort of beyond the Australian Open to play more UTRs and then make the call when you were going to try and get back on the road? Can you just take us through that process, how that's worked? Yeah. Um, so pretty much uh, I, after Australian Open, I um, decided to stay and play some UTRs and I was actually honestly undecided about going overseas or not um and then like you know the UTRs are great I've got a lot of match play um yeah. and and is really good uh, I guess money for for um you know all the players um but then it kind of got and then it, there was a few like kind of health issues with my mum and stuff so that was kind of holding me back from going a little bit as well um and then yeah I don't know I just had lots of discussions with my family um and my coach uh yeah, decided to take the plunge and just thought that the best thing for my tennis would be just to go overseas and um, get the get that experience. Um, so, yeah, just decided to take the plunge and then head overseas. Uh, and obviously, it's been a great decision so far. So, yeah, just thought that no matter what, like, your results-wise or anything, that I just had to go overseas um, and just play with different people and get some experience, like, just travelling overseas because playing – Playing UTRs is great. Um, however, you kind of verse the same people, honestly. Um, but it's good kind of, you know, going overseas, you're playing different people and, you know, it's all very exciting. So, um, yeah, it's definitely uh, – it was definitely time for me to go overseas. So, yeah. So, we know, you know, when you, when you first um, attempted to become a pro, going back many years ago now, and then you decided to – to step away and, and, and get off the tour, come home, you set up your own coaching business, you're still playing in Adelaide. And then the urge came again to sort of get back amongst and, and see where, I suppose, your game uh, stacked up and whether you could maybe have another crack at becoming a, a pro again. Can you just take us through the mindset of, you know, all that? And, and where, where, do you, where do you want to take this thing now that you're 25 years of age and you know, more mature, more developed, you know, you're, you're a different mm. version of... Um, uh, a younger Lee to you know, stepping out as a much you know, younger man in his teens to have a, a crack at professional tennis, which was not easy. Just take us through yeah. the whole mindset of that. Um, yeah, so I guess, uh, yeah, it took some time off and I feel like that was, uh, it was really needed um, because I believe that I've always had the, the talent and the ability to play well and to play good tennis. But I think what really held me back was probably just the mental side of things and not just, you know, just I, I guess having the wrong perspective and, not being able to handle losses and things like that. And um, uh, before I'd play, I'd get really nervous and uh, wouldn't be able to play my ability. Uh, so just taking that time off and coaching was really helpful for that. And just getting, honestly, just um, you kept coaching a lot of good juniors um, and then kind of telling them what to think uh, after losses or before matches and things like that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you just, you kind of just, it just starts sinking in when you, when you say, when you say, um, if you, when you say uh, how to deal with losses enough, then you, you, you start seeking that in for yourself. Um, so I think that really helped. And I just think that getting a bit of perspective um, on just wins and losses, uh, I think really helped. And obviously right now, um, uh, I'm not show, showcasing that because I, I just won the tournament, but I know that I'm going to lose at some point in the near future. So 
uh, I guess it'll be up to me then to really show that, you know, well, I'm, I'm going to bounce back. It's not the end of the world. Like it's, it's okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think, I think I just needed that time off um, to really think about that. And then also to, and also to just gain some perspective um, and just really be happy, I guess, off the court and make sure, I guess I just, re- I've just really valued balance as well. Like just not making it all about tennis and results and that I feel like, it's important to be like to enjoy your time off the court, um, you know, and spend time spend time with family and friends, um, and then just at the end of the day, you know, leave everything out on the court. Be happy with your the effort that you put in, and uh, the rest is, I guess, out of your hands. You just yeah, just just go and do your best. Um, and I feel like another important thing is is also just to figure out what works for you, um, and then just stick with it. Uh, so. I, I guess before I play now, um, I'm honestly really relaxed. Like I'll just, I'll just chill and I'll just chill in the lobby. Uh, I'll just be talking to people uh, and I'm just chilling out. And then five minutes before I play, I'll just like, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just walk on court and then just, yeah, just be really relaxed. Um, and I think that allows me to play the best. So I feel like everyone's different and that's just, yeah, you just got to figure out what works for you. So, yeah. So the feedback we get on, you know, our social media, every time we put on a, a post about you is people just go, wow, this guy's got phenomenal talent and uh, people are very complimentary and go, it's great to have you back and we know what you can do. So what do you want to do from here? What, what's what's the goal? So you, you go back, you know, you, you've got to start from scratch, as you mentioned, to get some points, play these ITF events. Um, I mean, the plan, obviously, now that you've left Australia, I imagine, and it's hard to get back into Australia the way it is and yeah. planning to stay away for a, a period of time. What's the ambition from here? Um, I guess, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's funny because I think this, this trip for me was just going to be about, it was just going to be about improving um, and just really getting that overseas experience. And, and um, yeah, it was just about tennis. And, and I guess I don't, I'm not one to look at the rankings and the points too much. I feel like, it can get in your head. Like it's, it can be a good and a negative thing. I feel like, um, but I think what's worked for me so far is, is not looking too much at, oh, if I win this or if I look at that, like, you know, then, that, then this, that, then it means this. Um, I know, I know it's in the back of my mind and it motivates, it definitely motivates me, but I definitely don't try and look into it too much because I feel like it can get in my head a little bit. So I just try and take it step by step um, and just, uh, and just, really focus on the process and you, the results will look after itself and the rankings will look after itself. Um, so I guess I just try and be a bit more focused on the systems and the processes rather than focus. I, I mean, it's good to have goals in that at yeah. the end of the day, like it's great to have goals, but I mean, the goals itself is not what's going to get me there. Um, it's actually having the right systems and the right thought processes in place and the right work ethic. Um, so I think, yeah, I just really try to value that um, on this trip. Um and a lot of boy, a lot of the boys also have been in that same mindset, so yeah. uh, it's really good. So there's like seven, eight other Aussies here, and we're all getting around each other, and we're all about. We've all we've all been joking that it's a character building tour, so um, yeah, we're all about that. So yeah, I, I think it'd be a great documentary. I've said this for a while about uh, the idea yeah. and the, and the uh, behind the scenes and what it takes to become a pro and the ups and downs, and as you said, trying to you know dealing with losing, which you know tennis players do every week if, if you're not winning the tournament. So, uh, the reality yeah. um, of all that. So, h- how long is this trip going to be? What, what's sort of the plan? Um, at least three months, uh, about three, four months, I'd say roughly. Um, so, I'm two weeks in, so I've still got a pretty long stint to go. I plan on playing at least 10 tournaments, um, like. So it could be 10, could be four down, four down. I'm not really sure, but I'd like to, uh, yeah, play at least 10. So that's the goal. Um, and then just figuring out where, I'm not really too sure. Um, I just know that I'll probably play the next two or three in Tunisia. And then, yeah, I'm not sure after that. So I might go to Europe or something. Who's on the road with you? I mean, a lot of guys, you know, do this on their own from at various stages, don't, you know, bring a coach with them, but who's on the road with you? Uh, so I'm rooming with Arjun uh, Miratra um, uh, at the moment, uh, uh, and he's, he's 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 been really good um, to room with. Uh, but Dane Sweeney's here, Jeremy Beal's here. I know Thomas uh, Tom Bancart's going to US this coming week. Um, uh, like Chan tries here. Um, I don't want to not name anyone now. Um, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, Blake Ellis as well. Blake Ellis as well. Um, so I feel like, yeah, we're just going to, uh, yeah, I think in two weeks, everyone's going to start making moves. Um, so I guess, yeah, it's just, I'm not, not too sure if I'm going to start traveling with then, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Hey, well done. Um, great to, um, 
great to catch up and have a, a chat with you and um, well played this week. Not that we not that we get to see a lot of vision from the uh, ITFs. Uh, you know, I yeah, yeah. Matches, it's just, uh, it's just the live scores. Yeah, your score lines were pretty comprehensive. Um, you must have been pretty pleased I let you go. You must have been pretty pleased the way you hit the ball. I mean, you passed okay. like one set. I mean, you pretty much dominated all the way through. Yeah, yeah. I um, I honestly had a really, a really, really good week. Um, I just got a lot of confidence after being, um, yeah, after beating Dane. We we had a really, really good match. It was really close. It was, up, it was honestly to the wire, and. Uh, and yeah, after that match, I got a lot of confidence. Um, I feel like we bring the best out of each other. We always have really good matches. So um, yeah, after that, I kind of knew deep within that I, I could take it all the way. Um, and then yeah, the next three matches, I just played unbelievable. So yeah, just I guess I just really like the conditions here. Um, you know, it's pretty fast courts. It suits my game. Um, and yeah, I, I guess I just I just got uh, just had a re- really good week. Um, but. Yeah, hopefully I can ke- keep uh, carrying it on for the next few weeks. So, yeah. Well, mate, continued success. Uh, we love watching uh, someone's journey uh, from where you are right now to where it can possibly become. And you seem pretty relaxed, yeah. uh, enjoying life off the court as well. So, no, I really appreciate you giving us a, a few moments on the first serve. No worries. Thanks. Thanks so much, Brett. Thanks for having me.